And are you refreshed? Yes. Good. Now what? <laughs> Supposed to get fewer and fewer and fewer, you know that. <laughs> Instead of more and more and more. Getting all stirred up. Yes, right here. Thank you for continually teaching us the same thing over and over again so that we get it. <laughs> I love knowing that on this topic of path of least resistance, I love knowing that it's really just, it's right there in front of me all the time. And that if I veer away from it a little bit, it just takes a slight change of focus to get back. Esther's friend said to her the other day, you know, we are only a baby or a puppy away from alignment. <laughs> True. Because it takes very little to get right back there. And I yeah. used to think that it was a giant effort. Like when I was in the vortex, it just felt so, it was like ecstasy. And then when I was out, I was so miserable. And I would be out for longer and longer because I was focusing on how miserable I was for not being in the vortex. And finally, I have learned that it's just, it's literally that shift of focus. The good news is that when you go to sleep at night, your momentum stops. So even if you have been encouraging a path that is taking you from who you really are and what you really want when you slumber that momentum subsides it stops so when you awaken you have a very good opportunity to make the choices that keep you in better and better alignment and knowing that and deliberately reaching for better feeling thoughts is very productive and thank you for teaching us that as well, because that made a huge difference in my life. Because I used to wake up and I was just right where I left it, miserable, worrying about work or whatever. And now I get up and even if I start to go that way, I just stop and I don't even have to think about it. But there's a piece, you see, we've been talking about all of these pieces and you've been very good at picking these pieces up and incorporating them into what you know. But let's talk about this last piece or two and how it fits in. So let's say, you are like most people you are living a sort of conditional life and almost everyone offers almost all of their vibration which law of attraction is responding to all the time in response to what they are observing so if you're observing something that feels good then you're getting more of it if you're observing something that doesn't feel so good you're getting more of it and most are sort of a mixed bag so you're getting some of all of it so let's say that for whatever reason you have been and are living a sort of conditional experience where you're focused upon conditions and responding to them so let's say that you are for example an employer who is focused upon an employee who is not pleasing you so clearly because of the way you feel you're not focused upon what you want you're focused upon what you've got but you're not focusing upon what you want and you can tell by the way you feel that you're not in alignment with who you really are and what you really want you could find the vibrational essence of an improved employee but you're not instead you're focusing upon what you've got so now you go down that path further and further your deviation from what you want and what you've got gets stronger and stronger you could have turned it around earlier and easier you didn't have to go so far but finally it goes far enough that you fire that employee well it's an action that in some cases we think is a good one in other words it could be easier for you in fact we would say it would be easier for you to find your path of greatest alignment relative to that position that you want to feel now that that person who isn't doing a good job isn't there in other words now they're not there to observe it's more likely that you could think about what you want and find vibrational alignment with it and then attract it but most don't because they fire the person and then they think about why they fired the person they hold themselves in the vibrational pattern even though the person is no longer there they hold themselves in the vibrational frequency of the unwanted so whether it's this example or a relationship or anything the tendency is to be so conditioned to focus on conditions that even when you sometimes make a very good decision which is to put yourself in a better position where that condition isn't beating up on you anymore and isn't controlling the vibrational frequency still in your guilt about not pleasing them 
in your guilt about doing what you think is best for you you hold yourself in those patterns where things can improve so the next one's pretty much like the last one different faces different places but same experience keeps happening to you is this making sense to you so what would be a better plan well a better plan would be before it gets so uncomfortable to make a new decision about what you want because if you could make a better decision a clearer decision a clearer decision say it again a clearer decision say it more specifically a clearer less resisted statements in other words clearer meaning purer meaning fewer contradictions about it throwing less contradiction on the path so if you could make even when you still have this employee who is not pleasing you if you could stay focused upon what you want that employee would either come with you or go away but you wouldn't reach that place that great crescendo of discomfort you see what we're getting at so when you decide that you're going to play it out vibrationally and emotionally rather than in terms of conditions what begins to happen is the conditions begin to take care of themselves you begin creating from what we are calling the inside out you begin holding your own vibrational patterns in alignment with who you really are and then everything else just becomes a cooperative component to the vibrational essence that you have established so we want to say to you to make it even clearer you are human beings not human doings which means you are offers of vibration and yes of course you are also actors you are also those who offer action but if you let yourself believe that the action trumps everything so you're just acting and reacting then you're not taking care of the vibration and then the reactions are just following the path of greater and greater resistance we think you heard most of that it was a pretty good unfolding so now where are you uh, apparently you're reading my mind because um, <laughs> I have that exact situation at work and trying to figure out what to do with it with an employee <laughs> So you answered the question I didn't even ask yet, but thank you. Well, the thing is, we want to put this statement in the mix and then we'll clarify it because it sounds like a flawed statement. You can't get there from there. Now to clarify what we want to say is you can't get to where you want to be with action. You've got to get to where you want to be with vibration. But sometimes taking an action gives you a reprieve from things that were keeping you vibrationally out of whack. And that's what so many of you are not willing to give yourself a break without feeling guilty. And so when you remove something unwanted from your experience, you usually don't remove the unwanted vibration because you stand in a justifying mode or a defensive mode where if you could just take the action and make a statement to yourself I'm doing the best that I can do and this was a good choice for me and then let it rest a little bit don't keep it active by talking about it what will happen is your true vibration will take hold it's like those of you who've been hearing us for a while it's our longest and favorite analogy vision a cork bobbing on the surface of the water and let's call it alignment you can hold it under the water let's call that resistance when you let go of it it will bob right back to the surface that's the thing that we want you to understand that if it were not for the conditions that you are so intertwined with and sometimes unhappy with if you could focus in a more caring way about the way you feel you could disentangle from those conditions your cork would float and now you're in the driver's seat now you're in a place where what you want is flowing to you consistently so let's go back and revisit that strong statement that we made you can't get there from here you can't get there from where you are what do we mean don't try it conditionally do it vibrationally but wait Abraham you just suggested that maybe it might be a good idea for me to give myself permission to remove myself from the unwanted condition yes we did we think you should remove yourself from every unwanted condition if you can 
but once you removed yourself from the unwanted condition you've got to take the more important step which was always the more important step which is remove yourself from the vibrational patterning and you'll reach the place that you can take the vibrational patterning without the action you will but in the meanwhile do whatever it takes to feel better about where you are how's that beautiful